and now in the back straight away. We want you up. I want to see those orange hats out there waving. Come on, let's give them a wave as they come off of turn two and down the back straight away as the Bird Motor Chevrolet Pace Truck pulls in 100 laps to distance. Who is going to be the Bud Light? Small block, super modified champion of 2011. They start to pick it up. The green is on and they tear it up here. Coming down the front straightaway. It's Shartner going into the number one spot. Brown riding right there in the number two spot. That's Carnival 79, Castiglia. Back here in the number three position. They shuffle going down off of turn number two. Craig Harris, Carnival 44, drops right to the bottom part of the speedway. Right behind him is Jack Patrick, and we got a car, and one of them upside down over in the nose. Spikes the brakes. He couldn't get up on the outside. There wasn't enough heat in the Hoosiers. Bring it down off of turn four and down the front straightaway. It's Dave Cliff, Simmons, and Patrick. Rob it out the top five, and then Craig Harris in the number six spot. That's car number 44, and a 44 car abruptly takes the car to the outside again. Can't do it. Also going up to the outside, Jack Patrick right now. And the car number nine, Patrick likes to run the outside when he needs 70 laps to get some good heat in those Hoosier tires. The battle for the number one spot going down the back straight away. Here is Russ Brown. Brownie going around, and we got yellow out onto the speedway again. That's it, and then we're going to go back racing. I think Jay, besides running here one other time, ran a couple of times in Nora shows at uh, Thunder Alley. Danny Johnson up there with the Andrew Shartner, the lead car. And uh, Danny uh, talking to Andrew, and uh, maybe we can swing back up there and uh, see uh, what Danny and he are talking about. Thanks, Joe. Just compare notes up here real quick. Andrew Shartner led the first 50 laps of the event, taking his helmet off. He's going to grab a quick breath of air down here. Looks like they're going to do a little adjusting on the tires. And how's the car so far? It's not doing too bad. We're running pretty good right now. It's handling really well. You know, I'm using up all the motor I got. Brownie seems to have a little more, and I uh, tried on there a one. I don't know how I saved it, but uh, I think we'll be all right if we can keep him behind us. He is dry wrecking us again. Any adjustments going on with the car? What's that? Any adjustments? No, I think we're pretty good to go. We're just. Uh... Okay. Well, Danny having a little uh, mic problem over there. Joe, earlier on a few laps ago, Andrew, certainly using his dirt track experience, I thought uh, Brownie was going to get underneath him. In fact, was quite a bit underneath him. They came together down here in turn number one, and Andrew got that rear end of the car kicked out quite a bit, but was able to make a great save and not only hang by, but uh, actually pulled away just a little bit from the number 79. Here is Russ Brown. Again, he shuffles to the outside part of the speedway. Brownie trying to take a run going down into turn number three. Can't do it. And Shartner gets up wide. Here is Brownie. The door is open on the inside. Brownie had a run coming down onto the inside. Could not do it. Dave Cliff remaining back there in the number three spot. Shartner's rear end of the car seems to be kicking out a little bit more. And look at all over him. Here comes Russ Brown. He has won this race in the past. He'd like to win it again. Shartner bringing it down here in the front straightaway. 52 laps are in. Shartner bringing it down off the corner. They're right together. Brownie again taking a dance down out of the inside. Can't do it. Cliff remains back there in the number three spot. And then Simmons and Patrick rounding out the top five. And then closing in on the top five. Craig Harris in car number 44. Rob Pullen in car number two. There's Shartner. The car is loosening up in the rear end. He is kicking that rear end out. Although that seems to make him go a little bit quicker as he went a 19-6 against the 19-7 of Brown. They bring it down into the corner, turn number one, completing another lap. And now Shartner's got himself about a two, three, four car length advantage as they go down the back straightaway. Shartner now with a 19-5, a 19-6 for the second place running Russ Brown. Shartner trying to put a little bit of distance between he and Russ Brown. Brown remains cool right there in the number two spot. What Brownie may be doing, we're looking at lap number 65, 35 laps to go, almost like a regular Saturday night here at the Oswego Speedway. Brownie may be just cooling his tires and waiting to the final 10 or 15 laps 
and then turn the juice on. He, and every lap here for the last five or six laps, Andrew Shartner is turning two tenths of a second quicker than the rest of the field. He went a 19,598. Let's see what happens this time around when they come across the stripe. A 19,570, a 19,758. Here again, two tenths of a second quicker. So he's got himself well over a quarter straightaway lead. He's going to be running up on some traffic as they come down to between turns number three and four. Dave Cliff turned a 19.6 on the last lap. So he's trying to close in for the number two spot. There is some tight racing back there with Pullen, LaTulip, Muldoon, and Barbo back there for the sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth position. Your leaders, though, just kind of hanging around, trying to burn it off the lap. Andrew Shartner turns a 19.5 again, a 19.8 for the second place a running car. Now they equalize each other, a 19.6, a 19.6. So Russ Brown may have wanted them to go down. They move down the back straightaway. Shartner going down between turns number three and four. Shartner's gonna be bringing it down this time, 76 are in. We are three quarters of a way through. The difference between first and second is 1.9 seconds and growing. Dave Cliff in the Law Automotive car trying to close in over there between turns number three and four. Bringing the team over there just off of turn two. He is going by that traffic right now. He went a 19.9 on the last lap. Brown also went a 19.9. Now the move over flag is out. Here is Shartner completing lap number 81. And Shartner is getting boxed up in traffic. Russ Brown now mounts the charge and he's trying to close in. A 19-9 for uh, Dave Cliff who just got the number two spot. Cliff is now taking away the number two spot. And this could show a whole different race. Here is Shartner now closed in and trapped in in traffic. Over in the number two corner, Shartner goes to the outside. Shartner clears the traffic. Dave Cliff works the inside. It is Russ Brown still running third. Craig Harris Ford, Jack Patrick in the number five spot. Later's coming across the line right here. Shartner's now got a little bit of traffic between he and second place Dave Cliff, but not for long as they both clear the traffic and go down the back straightaway. Shartner with a 20.6, a 20.5 for Dave Cliff. This one's gonna get nitty gritty time as they come racing down off of turn number four and down the front straightaway. The leaders are right together. Shartner is right up here off of turn two and Shartner just made a quick move to the outside. We've got a couple of cars in trouble coming down. They're gonna be able to clear the racetrack and both the leaders got by. That was kind of the, probably the hairiest moment of the entire event, 15 to go. Shartner the leaner, Dave Cliff right there, and Dave Cliff just turned a little bit quicker time by almost eight tenths of a second, but now they have a clip. That is, there will be 10 to go in the Bud Light 100 Classic here for the Small Block Super Modified. 89 showing up on the board right now, and Andrew Shartner who won a 19.6 on the last lap. He just comes across. Shartner, the leader, now working up in turn number two, one a 19-7, a 19-8 for Dave Cliff. 93 are in, and seven to go. Your leader, working virtually all by himself, Dave Cliff, does not seem to have anything for him. A clear racetrack right now as they come out of turn four, that is your leader. Carnival, Carnival 18 completes lap number 94. There are six to go, but take a look down the back straightaway just ahead of the leader. There is some heavy traffic. I don't know if he's going to be able to catch it because when he comes out this time, he's going to get the sign with five to go. Andrew Shartner, five laps away from one of his biggest victories. He works coming off at turn two now. That traffic is in front of him. He's got himself nearly a half a straightaway lead. He brings it down to between turns number three and four. That traffic coming up. Cliff Brown Patrick riding right behind him. He's got a little bit of cushion with four to go. And let go, we got trouble right there in front of the leader. It is the Osetic double O car. Nine pulling up. 
96 showing on the clock right now or on the lap counter. The Burt Motor Chevrolet pace truck is out here. And what was once a two second lead, Dave Cliff is on the back bumper of Andrew Shartner. Roy with just a couple to go. Yeah, it's gonna be a green white checker finish at this point. If the white flag comes out this time, I think that's what I overheard. Burt Motor Chevrolet pace truck is in. They pick it up down in turn number three, and here is Andrew Shartner. He stands on a small block Chevrolet, bringing it down off at of turn number four. Dave Cliff takes a swing and a look on the inside. Goes down into turn number one, and Shartner takes the rear end of that car out. He opens up a two, three car, two and a half car advantage as they hit the three-quarter point in the back straightaway, and look at Russ Brown now. He has come alive. He's back up there challenging for the number two spot, and we got one car in trouble up on the high side. They bring it around 97 laps to red. Brown they rolling. race down, coming off at turn number two. Down the back straightaway, and we are trying to flag a car in. That is Rob Pullen in car number two. Here comes the leaders coming down in the front straightaway. Shartner completes lap number 98. The Pullen car drops down out of the inside. Shartner sees it. They go up to the outside and around. And boy, that must feel like a sitting duck out there. They race going down into turn number three. Pullen trying to limp off the speedway. He's at the halfway point. Ladies and gentlemen, the white flag is in the air. This is it. Andrew Shartner out of Wheatsport, New York. The young hot shoe coming down and pulling. Is nearly stranded right there, but they all get by him. Look at Jack Patrick. He is trying to come in for the number three spot. Scores stand by to win. Goes to Andrew Shartner. David Cliff is second. Russ Brown is third. Jack Patrick is fourth. Craig Harris in the number five spot. Timmy Barlow, Barbell, good run for him. He is sixth. Seventh is Brian Hayes in car number 37. Eighth is going to be Mike Bruce. Good run for him. Muldoon, car number 80, finishing ninth. Tenth is going to be Dalton Doyle. Eleventh is going to be Stan Gates. And the double O of Brian Osetic in the number 12 spot. Right down to the wire, Roy. Well, I pull and ran out of fuel over between three and four. They were motioning him in. He had plenty of time to get in here on the front straight. Did not take that opportunity. He finally ended up just at the mouth of Pitt Road. There was a half a lap to go. They let the race finish under the green, and Shartner comes away with the win. Good run for Andrew Shartner. Led all 100 laps. Young college student out of Wheatsport, New York. One of the only drivers this year to win features both on the dirt as well as the asphalt. And Shartner does a couple of loop de doops just off of turn number four. His best finish third a year ago, sixth the year before that. And that's the first time I have him in the top ten. And last year, of course, he was the Mr. Small Block Super Modified Champion. Here is Andrew Shartner a graduate of Mike Rod Racing. Down there with him, uh, soon to be, Danny Johnson, his dad Carl is down there. Tom Asserud, the team owner, had a pretty good finish, uh, first and fifth with uh, Shartner and Craig Harris. Need the second and third place cars over here, Dave Cliff and Russ Brown. I think uh, Russ Brown's car kind of went away on him towards the midway part of that race when Andrew Shartner started to pull away, opened up a big lead, came back to him a little bit more. Here he is, the winner, ladies and gentlemen, Andrew Shartner.
and the crew getting up in the back of the Oswego Speedway Bird Motor Company Chevrolet Avalanche to take the victory lap around the Oswego Speedway. Dave Cliff has brought the 06. He was last year's track champion in the small block super modifieds and hope to go super modified racing this year. Make some noise for Andrew Shartner down here, folks, as he comes down the front straight. He'll be going all around the track. Andrew, of course, also drives the mod lights at Brewerton Speedway and at other area race tracks on the dirt. We're going to go to trackside right now. Danny Johnson going to talk to runner-up Dave Cliff. Danny. Thanks, Roy. Boy, talk about a story inside a story. Dave, tell the crowd what you just told me about your 06. That halfway break, uh, I was starting to push a little oil, and Dad told me just to run it until it, until it let go. Well, about 10 or 12 laps ago, I was out of tear-offs, and I was driving blind, really couldn't see a thing. Uh, luckily, we did get that one late caution. I took my glove off and wiped it off with my bare hand to get through the last couple of laps, but it was, it was, I don't think it could have gone too many more. <laughs> Race with 100 laps, 101, it might not have made it, but uh, you made it exciting, getting by Russ Brown just a little bit before the, the charge for the end. Just didn't look like you had anything for Andrew, though. No, I didn't. He was, uh, he was right before the halfway. I think I might have been a little better. Him and Russ and I were both right, right on his tail, but that last little run there, he was, he was gone. I didn't have nothing for him. Congratulations to them. They, they deserve it. They're a great team. I had one shot at him at traffic, and it just didn't work out. Yeah, I, I, I get, just passed Russ, and then we caught a gaggle of lap cars there, and I really I caught him a lot faster than I thought and had to lift a little. Um, I, I don't think I could have passed him or even held him off if I had, but, again, congratulations to them, and I want to thank all my guys for putting the car together for last weekend and this weekend. And we had a lot of fun. Nice run, Dave Cliff in the 06 for second place. And the winner of the SBS Classic, the Bud Light 100, Andrew Shartner down all sorts of congratulations. His biggest career win down here. You can see the tears of joy down here, hugs all around. Big congratulations from second place finisher Dave Cliff. Andrew Shartner. First, he's going to make another fan for himself, the 50 50 draw. They'll go post it up on the Century 21 board. Pink ticket, 675. 8030 We're looking for Russ Brown to come down for the third place finish. Photographers go to work. We'll talk, talk with Andrew Sharner in just a minute, guys. Modifieds lined up in the pit area, ready for the Parts Plus Race of Champions. Modified 200. A lot of photos being taken down there of race winner Andrew Shartner. Place, third place finisher Russ Brown down here. Russ, good solid run for the 79. Looks like you just ran out of juice in the last 25 laps or so. Yeah, when we caught that one lap car there, I got into Andrew there and I messed the front of it up. And I just longed for the ride after that. He had us covered. Nice run. To those guys. Andrew and those guys did a good job. So head your car one, that's all that really matters. Nice run for you in third place, though, not coming all year. Good run in the 100 lapper. Thanks. Crew shot down yeah. here with the guys. As soon as we get the crew, the picture with the crew, we'll step in. We'll talk to the new winner of the SPS 100, guys. All right, Danny, the Modifieds getting ready to come on down. By the way, Joe, speaking of the Modifieds, this past week we want to mention that the very first winner of the Race of Champions at Langhorn, Holly Bunn. Passed away this past week at the age of 91. Yes, and uh, you know, he, his name was very synonymous with the Race of Champions program and the Modifieds, whether it was at Langhorn or Trenton or Pocono, Flemington or here at the Oswego Speedway. You know, Kenny Schrader always said, before I hired anyone to come to work for me, I always asked him who won the first Race of Champions. <laughs> and if they told me Holly Bunn, they got the job. So, uh, that his name was very, very well known among the ranks of uh, top-notch auto racers. Tell you another quick little story about him. When he got out of World War II, he was given a physical examination and they said, Holly, you better take it easy for the rest of your life and because you have a bad heart and you don't need to exert yourself any more than normal. 
And he says, good, I'm going to go auto racing because if I'm going to go, I'm going to go the way I want to go out in front with the hammer down. And he lived to 91 years <laughs> to old. 91. All right, we're going to go back down trackside. Danny Johnson, get in and talk to our race winner, Andrew Shartner. Okay, we think we got the photos done. He's wiping off his face. Doesn't know if he can see anything, but Andrew Shartner, you just got the biggest win of your career. Congratulations. Thank you. It's, uh, I was speechless. I, uh, I was tearing up on the cool down lap because this was something that it means really a lot to me, and I appreciate it. And I can't thank enough people. That's what I got to start with first. Uh, right at the beginning, every single one of my crew members, Tom specifically, uh, my dad, Scott for coming to help out, Gary, Alan, their whole entire crew, my mom, my girlfriend, but specifically, uh, I got to thank Russ Brown for someone that really came in here for one reason this season, the winter race, uh, the classic, and with me being one of his main competitors, really took my car from junk when we got here yesterday and worked with me and worked with me and got me to being able to beat him, and uh, that's, that's class, and that means a lot. It was a good run for you. You had a good solid car, but coming down with about 10 to go, you ran into some traffic. It looked like you had a little bit of trouble. Yeah, it was uh, when you get to, I got to that like mid-pack traffic, the guys that were running, I'm assuming around 10th area. And uh, the thing with the guys in the back is sometimes you can find their weak spot where they really slow down, whether it be entering the corner or they struggle getting out. So you can plan for that. Them guys really hold a really good line and drive a very difficult way to pass them. Uh, they're just, you know, not quite fast enough to be up there in the front. Uh, but they're really difficult to, to deal with when you get in the lap traffic, and I was just praying for a yell. I was like, come on, I need a yell, I need a yell, because I felt like if I was in open air, I'd be able to hold them off behind me instead of I didn't want to get stuck behind a lap car and have Brownie or someone come flying around on the outside. But it, it worked out, and I was, I was nervous those last four laps. We know any win at Oswego Speedway is big, any feature win. You just won the SBS 100 and Classic Weekend. What are your thoughts? It's unbelievable, especially to come up here from Charlotte. It's so surreal. You know, I come, I go from basically nobody has any idea who I am. I'm just, I sit in class and take notes. I come up here and I'm the SBS Classic champion for the SBS. So it's it's unbelievable. It's a surreal feeling, and uh, it was just like I said, a total group effort. The, the sponsors the entire year: Ukrainian National Club, Arnold's, Air Gas, Bradco Supply, Richard Walton Trucking, all them, and uh, it really means a lot. And uh, the very last thing is. I'm probably not Chuck Hanley's favorite person right now up there, but I figured out on the last restart, he told me he had a good job uh, to restart at the Bud Light sign. Well, there's two Bud Light signs back there, and I was like, ah, oh, when I figured out which one he meant. But, you know, fortunately, I hope I didn't wreck too many cars, but uh, that was my fault until I figured out what I was doing wrong. It's, I haven't been up front enough lately to, I guess, figure that out. Ladies and gentlemen, he's your Bud Light SBS Classic 100. How about a big hand? Let's hear it for Andrew Shartner. And as the Race of Champions Modifieds get set to come out here at the Oswego Speedway for their 200 lap feature event. Next weekend, of course, on Saturday, it's the Star Classic for the Super Modifieds. But on Sunday, if you're following the Modifieds at Thompson Speedway, the 125 lap NASCAR Wheel and Modified Tour, and 125 lap NASCAR Wheel and Southern Modified Tour, and a 50-lap North-South Showdown, plus six NASCAR Wheeling All-American Series divisions, the Sunoco Modifieds, Super Late Models, Late Models, Thompson Modifieds, Limited Sportsman, and Mini Stocks. That's Saturday and Sunday, September 10th and 11th, with the North-South Shootout on Sunday. The Modifieds in action at Thompson International Speedway, Thompson, Connecticut, next weekend. Of course, here tonight at the Oswego Speedway, they're ready to go 200 laps. They're going to put them on the line in this order. On the pole, it's going to be the number 95. That is Lee Sherwood. Sherwood out of Binghamton. And the garage, you pull it. Sherwood Racing Wheels, number 95, outside in the front row. I'll tell you what, in the last few years, he has had a tremendous record of top finishes, mostly wins. He hasn't been racing a lot, but he is here tonight at the Oswego Speedway. Out of Northampton, Pennsylvania, the Camco Supply Corp, number 48, Tony Hirschman. Tony Hirschman outside in row number one. Second row on the inside from Syracuse. It is Doug Rayum. Rayum in the number 14 inside in row number two on the outside of that second row from Ransomville, driving the Jerry Gretel Motors, car number 22, Chuck Hosfeld. Hosfeld in the 22 outside in row number two. Third row on the inside, the 47, that is Jim Storis. Storis coming in from Kingston, New Hampshire, in the Dippin' Donuts, number 47. Outside in row number three, the Binghamton Mets car, number three, from Binghamton, that is Darren Scherer. 
Shero in the three outside in row three. Fourth row on the inside. In car number six from Williamson, sponsored by Pace Lighting, Jan Leedy. Jan Boy on the inside in row number four in the number six. Outside in that fourth row. Coming in from East Aurora in the Bruce's Automotive, number 88, Billy Putney. Putney in the 88, outside in row number four, on the inside of the fifth row. From Hummelstown, Pennsylvania, the Ebersole Excavating, car number five, Kyle Ebersole. Ebersole in the five on the inside of row number five, on the outside of that fifth row. Coming in from Conkletown, Pennsylvania, the Kenneth Shuff Trucking, George's Plumbing and Heating, car number eight, Earl Paulus. Paulus in the eight on the outside of row number five, on the inside of row six. He is sponsored by Walco Automotive Service from Flemington, New Jersey.